If you've been following the competition from the beginning, you know we selected 24 semifinalists from hundreds of applicants from all over the globe. This year, in addition to the U.S., our semifinalists represented Greece, Canada, and Australia. Last summer, we put our semifinalists to the task on two challenges to narrow our field down to 12. For their first challenge, the top 24 were asked to create a 3D musical design on a single nail tip using various techniques. At the end of this challenge, six techs were eliminated. For the top 18, we wanted to find out who they were as artists. We asked them to choose their favorite visual artist and using that person's style, show us who they are. This was a hand painting challenge on a model. At the end of this challenge, six more techs were eliminated. We were left with 12 extremely talented nail artists to compete in this year's competition. It's been such a blast getting to know all of our contestants through their nail art, as well as through their descriptions and photos and videos. Here they are in their own words. Hi, my name is Amy. Hi guys, it's Danielle Costantino. Hi guys, it's me, Carrie. My name is Lauren Boyd. My name is Olivette Cephas. I'm Lexi, I'm 20 years old. Hey everyone, I'm Lenny Sherburn. My name is Marisol Alvarado. Hey, my name is T. I am also known as Nail Girl. Hi, my name's Sherry Trewick. Hi, I'm Simone Gilbert. I'm 34 years old from Melbourne, Australia. And my name is Yassi. Of course, none of this would be possible without our sponsors. We thank all of our weekly sponsors who were true partners in coming up with fun challenges each week for the artists to compete in. Thank you to Jellish, Bio Seaweed Gel, Dashing Diva, Gel 2, Entity Beauty, INM, It's So Easy, Orly, Super Nail, and Young Nails. And a very special thank you to our premier sponsor, CND. Their continued support and enthusiasm really allowed us to expand the contest this year. And we truly believe Nails Next Top Nail Artist is the epitome of the modern nail competition. In case you weren't following along, here's a quick recap. Challenge one sponsored by Young Nails asked each contestant to create a hand-painted mural across 10 nail tips to illustrate their own personal motto. The judges were impressed by the creativity and talent right off the bat. The winner of the Young Nails Challenge was Lauren Boyd for her graffiti-inspired caption mural. Sadly, this week it was Nail Girl who had to pack her paintbrushes. One of the new features for this year's Next Top Nail Artist was the opportunity for anyone to play along at home each week. Sponsored by Jellish, we saw some great entries on social media from a bunch of really talented nail artists. A play at home winner was selected each week. Challenge two, sponsored by Bio Seaweed Gel, asked our top 11 to create 3D gel sculpted underwater nails across five nail tips. The judges were impressed by the competitors' gel sculpting techniques and their imaginative take on this challenge. The winner of the Bio Seaweed Challenge was Simone Gilbert for her Australian reef-inspired intricate design. Sadly this week, Yessie had to pack her paintbrushes. Challenge 3, sponsored by Orly, asked our top 10 to create a modern, Los Angeles-focused French manicure on two hands. The judges were impressed by the competitors' varied sources of inspiration and use of shapes and colors to reinvent the classic French look. The winner of the Orly Challenge was Lexi Martone for her architecture-inspired look with crisp lines and subtle details. Sadly this week, Amy had to pack her paintbrushes. Challenge 4, sponsored by INM, asked our top 9 to create 5 nail tips using a combination of mediums inspired by the country of their family's origin. The judges were impressed by the competitors' ability to blend various mediums to portray the pride they have for their ancestry. 
The winner of the INM challenge was Lexi Martone for her Italian food and wine themed nails that were complete with a spinning pizza. Sadly this week, Carrie had to pack her paintbrushes. Challenge 5, sponsored by Entity Beauty, asked our top 8 to create 10 year anniversary nails using a combination of styles. The judges were impressed by the variety of celebratory looks the competitors did for this challenge. The winner of the Entity Challenge was Danielle Costantino for her modern take on celebration nails. Sadly this week, Linny had to pack her paintbrushes. Challenge 6, sponsored by Dashing Diva, asked our top 7 to create a cohesive set of 10 jeweled appliques. The judges were impressed by the competitors' bold graphic designs with plenty of crystals and bling. The winner of the Dashing Diva Challenge was Lexi Martone for her fashion forward and flawless set. Sadly this week, Marisol had to pack her paintbrushes. Challenge 7, sponsored by It's So Easy, asked our top six to create steampunk-themed nails using a variety of nail products as well as non-nail materials. The judges were impressed by the competitors' inventive use of industrial hardware and inspired looks. The winner of the It's So Easy challenge was Simone Gilbert for her elegant and intricate design. Sadly this week, Sherry had to pack her paintbrushes. Challenge 8, sponsored by Jellish, asked our top 5 to sculpt a fantasy nail art design on a single tip dedicated to a charity that is near and dear to their heart. The judges were impressed by the competitors' personal investment in their charities and their amazing sculpting techniques. The winner of the Jellish Challenge was Levette Cephas for her Pay It Forward design dedicated to Mom's House, a not-for-profit that directly impacted Levette's own life. Nails and Jellish both made contributions to the charity in Levette's name. Sadly this week, Lauren had to pack her paintbrushes. Challenge 9, sponsored by Supernail, asked our top four to create 3D gel sculptured comic strip nails depicting superheroes and villains. The judges were impressed by the competitors' innovative comic storylines and fun sculpted looks. The winner of the Super Nail Challenge was Lexi Martone for her Powerpuff Girls sculpted nails. Sadly this week, Lavette had to pack her paintbrushes. Challenge 10, sponsored by Gel 2, asked our top three to create a hand-painted Tropical versus Arctic design on two hands. The judges were impressed by the competitors' hand-painted skills and clean execution. The winner of the Gel 2 Challenge was Lexi Martone for her Heat Miser and Snow Miser nails. Sadly this week, Simone had to pack her paintbrushes. At this point, we now know two of the final contestants. Congratulations to Danielle Costatino and Lexi Martone. But there was one more nail tech waiting to re-enter the competition. As a new element to the competition, we introduced CND's Last Chance Design Lab. Like an elimination bracket, each week the eliminated contestants were waging their own battles in order for one of them to earn one last chance to get back into the competition. Each of the one-on-one -on -one battles was based loosely on that week's challenge, and the design was to be created in two days on a single nail tip. CND's Jan Arnold chose which artist would move on each week. At the end, the nail tech who won the last chance to re-enter the competition was Lavette Cephas. Congrats to the top three for all their hard work and for making it this far. But we're left with one unanswered question. Who is Nail's next top nail artist? <laughs>